Okay, so in this video, we are going to at least explore a little bit further the idea of what a functor is, and uh, we're going to we're going to see what are some of the things we can actually do with a functor's uh, uh, type class uh, uh, inside uh, inside Haskell. So um, the title for for this video is uh, still we are studying the Haskell's functor functor type class. Okay, and um, yeah, what I have here uh, uh, on my on my blackboard is basically the, the definition of the functor's uh, type class, which has this property. It has this behavior, the f f map uh, method, um, that is defined as uh, something that takes in a function from A to B, and this function basically gets lifted. It gets lifted so that it can work. It can work on on an input value of that happens to be a functor and uh, gives back as an output another functor value. So, uh, so, so the best way to think about this is uh, think about a functor as just taking an ordinary ordinary method, a method uh, uh, in this case that um, works on something in this in this example from a function function that takes in a value of type A over to value of type B and it gets lifted, it gets lifted so that it can even work in some sense on a functor. And uh, with this with this definition, let's let's just first uh, uh, understand uh, what the what the maybe type looks like. So uh, so before getting the maybe type, let's just one of the things I wanted to stress, which I've been stressing on in my previous videos, is that uh, each of these types here, type because this is in a type world, this entire thing in blue, the entire thing in blue is basically the signature, the type of the f map method. It means that this a over here is something that uh, that has a concrete uh, 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 is a, it's a concrete type, meaning the kind the kind for a is a star. The kind for B is basically a star. The kind for F of A, the functor, the actual functor is a star. And uh, the another functor, F of B, is also something that happens to be a star. Okay, so these are all concrete types here. And uh, because these are all concrete types here, if I were to, if I were to have a, a maybe type, so uh, if I say, if I declare a type maybe, so uh, let's say data of maybe maybe of x equals to just just of x or or nothing and uh, we saw that maybe maybe is a type constructor maybe over here is a type constructor but maybe of x maybe of x is basically a concrete type as a concrete type so because this maybe of x is a concrete type, the kind of maybe of x is a star, and the kind for maybe is basically some, it takes in a concrete type, it takes in a concrete type, uh, and gives back as an output another another concrete type. And um, just over here is a, is a value constructor, just is basically a value constructor, and, um, and uh, this is an algebraic, algebraic data type. Uh, uh, maybe of x. Okay, so if I have if I have this type maybe of x here, and I would like maybe of x to basically be an instance instance of my functor, I could uh, I could define I could define uh, I could I could make it something in the sense yes. So let's not worry too much about the syntactic. I might make a few typos as I as I as I write this uh, on the board here, but we can always uh, uh, play with Haskell a little bit later on the actual interactive shell to see. Uh, to see the actual actual code here, so uh, I'm just going to make maybe x an instance of my functor. So I'm going to say instance, instance, functor, functor, and uh, the question is, what is this f going to be? This f over here is something. F is something that that has to take in that has to take in a concrete type and gives back something that is a concrete type right that's what f is that's the definition of f because f of f of a over here the actual functor value the actual f of a is a star 
f itself, f itself, this, this f in yellow over here is something that takes in a star and gives back another concrete type, a star. So uh, what do I have there? What, what, uh, what type constructor do I have here that takes in a star and gives back a star? Something that takes in a star and gives back a star is basically this piece over here, maybe. And uh, if that is that is uh, uh, if that type constructor matches this type of this f here, because both of them have the same kind, I can say instance functor of maybe maybe, and then say then say uh, where 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 my f map f map that takes in a function takes in a function so let's have my two parameters that goes into my f map so my first parameter is this function from a to b i'm just going to call that my function f okay it's just uh, it's just a label there i'm just passing my first parameter function f and then it takes in this value which is this my functor value and uh, let's have that uh, maybe in a slightly different color let's say let's say uh, my value over here as uh, just just of x because all I'm doing at this point is just uh, just pattern matching so uh, my f of a technically translates in a type world f is something maybe so this entire thing this entire signature if I were to translate this would look like would look like a to B and uh, my F in this case is maybe so I've got maybe maybe of A all I'm doing is replacing F with my actual actual uh, uh, type constructor in that instance of factor which is a maybe and uh, this becomes maybe of B all right so with this with this signature of my F map with this signature of my f map f map is something that takes in a uh, function f this function f over here is this piece right there and then it takes in a value it takes in a value which is of type maybe of a and uh, i'm just taking my first uh, first 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 value which is just of x just right there and this entire thing this entire thing needs to equal to equal to equal to something that is basically maybe of b all right, so how do I get that? Now I have a function f here. If I take this function f, and if I apply it on it on this value x, right? So if I take my if I get if I take f of x, what will that happen? But this is a function f. If it takes in some value, it's going to give me back some other value that happens to be of type b. But I need to take this b and I need to basically put it in some default default or at least in the in the uh, in, a, in some kind of a context which happens to maybe of B. So uh, whatever this f of x is, I'm just going to have this equal to just of f of, a, f of x. And uh, likewise, if I have f map, and um, I really don't care what kind of a method I'm passing it, but if this happens to be taking in just in pattern matching, if it takes in the second value, which is nothing, then that is going to then that is going to be equal to is going to equal to this entire thing is just going to be equal to equal to equal to nothing. Okay, so uh, so this is basically how given this type given this type which is my so let's have this first box over here. This entire thing over here is my maybe type I'm making maybe an instance of a functor now let's take this idea a little bit further and let's see if I can actually apply it on maybe a list here so um, so my list is basically I could define my list as uh, as a list of uh, some X that uh, again this is a recursive data set Recursive data structures. So let's say uh, list of some a equal to equal to 
some element, so I'm using a value constructor cons, is some element of A followed by followed by list followed by list of A or or is basically empty. My list is empty. Okay, so that's my empty list. So maybe this could be a definition of what a list uh, a list data structure in Python would look like. Uh, sorry, in Haskell would look like where I have a list of something, where it could be a list of integers, a list of characters, or a list of some some concrete type, and um, that equals to my value constructor. Uh, I'm using value constructor cons, and uh, it just just recursive to defining it, where it's equal to equal to my first element, my first element followed by the remainder the remainder of my list here. So given this, given this, um, and if I were to write the type of my value constructor, the type of my value constructor is going to be cons. The type for my cons is going to be is something that takes in a. It takes in a list of a, and out comes back, out comes back, another, another list of a. So this value construct takes in some value, takes in my first value, takes in a second value, and out comes back basically a third, a third value. And uh, from this is quite, because this is a type word, I'm going to take a type word, I'm using blue as my type word, uh, it's quite obvious that uh, my a is basically a concrete type, because the concrete type uh, I'm going to put a kind. The kind for A is a star. The kind for list of A is a star. The kind for this entire thing, list of A. List of A is a star. But the kind for list, the kind for list is basically, it takes in a star, it takes in a star, and gives you back, gives you back another concrete type there. Likewise, the kind for list of A again is a star, is a concrete type. But the but list over here is a type constructor. This piece over here is a type constructor. Because this is acting as a type constructor, the kind for list is, uh, in this case, list is something that takes, in, that takes in a concrete type, which would be A in this case, and gives back another concrete type as an output, which is this entire, entire thing here. So how do I how do I make my list an instance of the functor? I can make my list an instance of a functor by again uh, taking this uh, uh, taking this uh, signature and uh, rewriting this uh, for the list. Everywhere I see f, I need to replace f with some kind of a type constructor that has that that kind there. And the kind that takes in a star and gives back out as a star is basically this list here. Now, in Haskell, instead of using the actual literal list, I'm just going to use a square bracket notation. So, in, so one way to write this would be a of b, and uh, I'm going to replace wherever I see f with actually a list. So this could be list of a, and you get back an output a list of b. But now, the more Correct, or at least the more widely used nomenclature here is uh, would be I would say list of a, and uh, get back as an output a list of b. Okay, this is what my f map would look like for for a list here. All right, so let's 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 make our uh, let's make our uh, list an instance of the functor, and if I were to do that, so I would say instance instance functor and uh, I'm going to now use my 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 list here okay this is my bracket notation and uh, where f map f map basically takes in this function f map is something that takes in this function f and it takes in this this entire list over here. So let's call this maybe x of s. Okay, so uh, let's have a first parameter 
the function f. I'm just going to make sure I stick to my correct colors here, and uh, then it takes in a list of a list of some kind excess, and uh, this entire thing this entire thing is going to be equal to is going to be equal to uh, is going to be equal to map of map of this function f on on excess. Okay, so what is what is f map yet? The implementation for f map inside my list inside my list because this is going to be an instance of my functor. Uh, I'm going to say f map of f of x excess equals to map of f of excess because the type of map the type of map uh, if I were to write type of map uh, is going to be is going to be equal to uh, type of map in Haskell is basically just a type for map and I can see the type for map and type for f map are completely identical to each other. So one way one way would be instead of rewriting instead of writing something like this, I could I could simply say I could simply say uh, instead of writing this entire thing, I could just say I could just say f map f map is basically equal to equal to map and uh, that would be fine that would be exactly identical to what I have written here okay all right so uh, so this is basically creating making a list and instance of a functor and uh, um, maybe you could do one more uh, one more example maybe we could uh, uh, instead, let's do this. Let's 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 try to play a little bit uh, with the actual actual Haskell Haskell shell. So uh, so let's do this. Uh, so let's play with a few examples here. Um, so I'm going to say f map. F map. Let's have a function. Let's have a function. Let's just let's just pull the type for F map. The type for F map is basically. This is the definition. This is the definition over here. The the type signature for F map, and um, I can now take this. I can now take this F map and uh, apply this. Apply this so that it works basically on the Okay, so what I'm thinking over here is I'm taking a really simple example where I'm trying to trying to lift lift the method plus five Plus five is basically a method that just just takes in one one parameter as an as an as an input, and uh, and uh, in this case would be just an integer, just a number. But this number over here happens to be in some kind of a context because I'm using a value that belongs to a type maybe of integer. This piece over here, just a five, is basically maybe an integer. And uh, if I were to if I were to run this, if I were to run this, I would get back the addition where my plus five has been lifted instead of working instead of being a function that takes in a number and gives back a number. It now works in this context where it uh, it has been lifted so that uh, it it basically it basically gives you back. Uh, uh, a type that takes in maybe an integer and gives back as an output maybe an integer. One other way to think of this would be uh, 